Hi, this is Jody from MCPActions.com. In today's Watch Me Work segment, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks when you're using Color Explosion from the Complete Workflow and also Finger Paint from the Quickie Collection. So we're going to go ahead today and first to picture we're going to work on is from Natalie Bacon and she's a great photographer. She specializes in senior photography. And this is one of her seniors on an old, beat-up, rusty truck. And I love rust for this action, for, our, for the um, Complete for Works Flows action right here. I'm going to come in here, and we're going to run Color Explosion. When you run Color Explosion, the first thing that it does is gives you a levels adjustment, which we don't need to adjust here because it's good. And then it stops, and you have to stop in order for this action to work and then you need to finish and continue it when you're done. What I like to do in this action, I typically don't paint on green and I don't paint, there's certain colors I don't paint on, never paint on skin, don't let it touch skin. We're gonna go at 100% though, and we're gonna paint on the rust on this truck and on this blue color. It works wonderful on water, it works wonderful on rust, works great in a lot of things so we need to be careful so I've got my hand on the X key so I can go back and forth with the white and black and I'm painting on white to reveal and if I hit skin like if I hit her hand and it turns too dark um, which it will then I click the X key and I go back and paint on that and go back and forth I'm not gonna be too terribly careful today so this video can move along but it might take you a minute or so to kinda block it off then you're gonna click the play button again in your actions palette which is very important and it's going to go ahead and bring up a sharpening layer, and it's like an Etch-a-Sketch. You just look like for the outlines and the sharpening. So it looks like an Etch-a-Sketch drawing, and then that's it. It lets you know that you can run um, some of the other actions that are in this set, like peek boo or um, Oops, I Blew It. So we're going to go ahead now with the color explosion layer. If you go down, it will make things darker. If you go up, it will make them brighter. So for this photo, I'm going to come in right about here. And then heat the color and cool the color is if your color is too warm, you can cool it off or you can warm it up. This photo looks perfect already to me. And the last layer is increase contrast. And for this, um, I like it on and I'm going to actually increase it a little bit more. So now I'm at about 56%. And you'll see we're getting even more contrast from this photo. Um, from here, if you wanted, you could go and run touch of light, touch of darkness then you would change your brush opacity down to about 30, 25, 30 percent and you could come in here at the edges of the photo I'm going to zoom out a little bit with your touch of darkness and add kind of a just a natural vignette would help if I was set to white there which I am now and if you want to brighten anything up then you could come back in and her face is actually pretty bright but say you wanted it brighter come back in and just brighten her up so she, since she's a subject. And that's all there is to using um, the color explosion action. Very easy. One more photo we're going to go ahead and use this on. And this one is brought to us by Earl Blessing. And this photo was actually taken at a Hilton Hotel in the United Arab Emirates. And if we go ahead and look at this, the first thing I'm going to do with this photo is actually going to clone. I'm going to use the clone tool and just get rid of this pull right here. So I'm going to Alt, or if you have a Mac option, click and just quickly brush away that. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to crop it. Since right now I don't care about printing, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Marquee tool to crop. And now we've got our crop that we're going to work from. So I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot of it, and that's my after from earlier. I'm going to get rid of that so we only have this. Okay, so this is our photo so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and again I'm going to come in here and go into color explosion and I'm going to go ahead and play color explosion. It's going to have me um, adjust levels which again the levels look really good and I'm going to go ahead with this one and I'm just going to paint on the water. I'm going to make sure my brush is at 100% because I want it at full opacity. You'll see how rich the water gets when you paint on it. Actually, I'm going to paint on one more thing. I was not totally telling you guys. I'm going to actually paint on these right here because there's some really neat reds in here that will pop out on those um, apples or whatever those are, pieces of fruit. Then you got to go ahead and click play on this action again to resume it, just as I showed you before. And it's going to bring up a sharpening dialog box. 
And since I just edited this, I know that the default's going to work. So I'm going to click OK. And this is where we're at so far with this photo. A couple more things I might do. I might try peekaboo with this one just to go ahead and brighten things up a little bit. And I do like what that did. And if I want to emphasize the colors on the alcohol bottles in the background, the bar, I might actually go into the Quickie collection and use the finger paint action. So I'm going to go ahead with finger paint medium. And this runs and it gives you a black mask, which means you're going to paint with white to reveal the pop. So I'm just going to come in here at 100% and literally just paint on these bottles. And you'll see that gave them a nice spark. If I turn it on and off, you'll see the difference. And this is pretty much all I would do to this photo unless, again, if I wanted to use a little bit going back here. Um, where are you? The touch of light, touch of darkness. For those who like a little bit deeper um, of a vignette, you could come in here with touch of darkness. Or you could even use my burnt edges actions. And that was at 100%. I'm going to go bring this down. And kind of give it some depth that way. And with the touch of light, you could come in and emphasize and brighten anything that you wanted a little bit brighter. Maybe that fruit right here. Or maybe those glasses to make those um, have a little bit more shine and sparkle. And you could come in here in the water even and just emphasize a few of those ripples to make the water look a little bit more three-dimensional. So that's pretty much it for this photo and the other photo. Hope you enjoyed watching me use Color Explosion, Touch of Light, Touch of Darkness, which is, by the way, Touch of Light, Touch of Darkness, is a free action that is listed on my blog. So go ahead and in the search box on my blog, you can search for that and download that free action. Thank you very much for listening today. This is Jody from mcpactions.com. I look forward to doing more tutorials in the future. Thank you.